Okay, we seem to be on kind of a, a roll with backups here lately, so let's go ahead and ride this wave and see where it takes us. Um, I thought I would explain the init option tonight. Um, <clears throat> I'm not sure that many people use it anymore, and there's probably a good reason. Uh, or actually, the no init, right? Um, init gets used a lot, and it's uh, kind of implicitly, and it, it's it's really the better way to do things. Let's go ahead and, uh, and take a look at this real quick. Um, Let's go ahead and do a backup. Backup database. Let's see which one we want to do. Let's do SDB because it's nice and small. To disk equals e colon backslash SDB back dot back. Okay. So if I just do a plain backup like that. One of these days, there we go. Um, I'm going to get a single file. So let's let's take a look at uh, at another option here. We've got a store header only from disk equals colon backslash. Okay, so this is the header, and you notice how the backup doesn't have a name. It doesn't have a description. Um, its position is one and all of that, right? Well, let's say that I wanted to uh, overwrite this file with a new backup. Let's say, you know, for whatever reason, I don't want to change my backup name. I don't want to put a date on it at, on the end of it. I don't want to append the backup name with anything. I want it to always be sdb back dot back. Um, <clears throat> I could do that within it. Come here, and as it backs up, there we go. And I've still got my thing right here, and over here, um, you know, I get all the all the really good information that's going to help me do my log restores and all that. We'll talk about that stuff later, right? Um, but let's say that uh, I like I always like in it to be at the bottom. Let's say that I want to give it a name equals. Back up. Go ahead and do this. Oops. Oh yeah, comma. There we go. Okay. And now when I've done this, ah, all the way up there. There we go. Okay. Now it has a name, and I could just as easily put a description in there too, right? Position is still one because it's a backup file and it's got a single backup in it, right? But let's say that I didn't put the init in there, right? And let's just go ahead and say, let's call this one Sean's Backup 2. Now if I back this up again without the init statement, there you go. Now I've started a media set, right? I've got two backups in the same file. Now when I want to go to restore, say I've got position 1 and position 2, now when I go and restore, I have to actually pick one of these two files here, right? And we'll, we'll talk about restoring uh, in it uh, later on. That's actually not too hard. It'll actually just be, you know, file equals 2, so it's not really a big deal, right? Um, but, you know, why would somebody want to back up several databases to a single file? I'm not entirely sure myself, um, but I'm, I've been at a couple gigs where they've done that, and I've really got them off onto separate files because it's just much easier to it's it's much easier to manage. But you can you can even automate this restore. I mean, it's not that big of a deal, right? Um, so, in order to uh, in order to keep from doing that, of course, you can put the init option, and that tells it in it that tells it to initialize that tells it to to you know, erase this file and, and completely overwrite this file. Um, and of course, without putting the init there, then it tells it to append to the file. So you can just append backups until the file just gets so incredibly large. Now I suppose one reason that, that some people would like to do this is to be able to keep all of their, all of their backups together, right? So to make sure that there's no way in the world that any log backup could, uh, could get stolen I mean, not stolen, but could get deleted off the hard drive and break your chain 
um, your LSN chain or anything like that. I suppose that's one good th that's one good thing is if I had a, a backup and several log backups, then I could uh, down here I could uh, mark my different my my full backup and then mark every one of these as log backups and give them a little description. That way I know for a certain that I know for certain that if I've got that file, then I've got all of the all of the the backups that will that will uh, restore me to where I need to be. So, you know, if I want to keep an entire week of backups on disk, then I start with the full backup, and then I could go to all of the log backups. And if I've got them all in one file, I know they're all going to be there. Otherwise, some you know some admin could come along somewhere, or some user if you've got your your uh, your drive opened up that wide, but somebody could come along and could delete a couple files. And you know, if you go to to do a log restore, if you if you uh, restore your full database and then you you go to do some log restores and you're missing a a log file or two, yeah, you could be screwed. So anyway, that's that's what init is for. And just to show you one more time here, if I were to do this, see, I've got backup and backup two, and if I were to run this one more time with init. And then look at my headers. I've only got that one file again, right? So there you go. That's backup within it.